fight, 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 uh, fight, paralyzes forgiveness. We forgiveness. I need y'all to help me preach to somebody and touch them and say, neighbor, whatever you did, no matter who you did it with, and no matter how long you did it, the preacher came to Galilee to tell you that you've been forgiven. God help me. That if I confess my sin, he's faithful and just to forgive me of all my sin and to cleanse me from all unrighteousness. Call your neighbor by the hand. Say, neighbor, I don't care what it is. I don't care how long you did it. I don't care where you did it. I don't care who you did it with. You've been forgiven. It's under the blood. It's covered. And it's in the sea of forgiveness. Can you shout for forgiveness tonight? Can you thank God that you've been forgiven? I'm through. Um, I need you to do it. Just at least talk three people. Say you've been forgiven. You've been forgiven. Come, no, no, no. Come on. Say you've been forgiven. You've been forgiven. You've been forgiven. Say stop beating up yourself. You've been forgiven. You've been forgiven. You've been forgiven. Stop having a guilt trip. You've been forgiven. You've been forgiven. Stop saying I should have, could have, would have. You've been forgiven. You've been forgiven. Stop living on regret boulevard. You've been forgiven. You've been forgiven. And that's why the devil can't stay in you. Because the devil know what you did. He know who you did it with. And he know how long you did it. But I'm so glad there is a fountain filled with blood that flows from Emmanuel vein. When sinners plunge beneath that flood, they lose all their guilt and stain. Pull your neighbor by the head and say, baby girl, you've been forgiven. You've been cleansed. You've been forgiven. You've been purified. You've been forgiven. And you've been delivered. And whom the Son has set free, you are free indeed. I see you. I see you. I see you. Um. Um, pride paralyzes forgiveness uh, releases but faith saves us it's right there uh, it, it's right there uh, he, 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 he said you've been forgiven and then he said now go in peace because your faith has made you whole. Or your faith has saved you. Okay. I, I'm making sure y'all getting it. Pride. Forgiveness. But. Uh, uh, it, it, it's, it, 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 it saves me uh, that when he comes into my life he don't just forgive me but he saves me I wonder if there's anybody who's saved tonight uh, Pastor Charlotte Elliott had become stricken at an early age Charlotte Elliott had become bed ridden for early age, while she was a young woman in her 30s, uh, one of the things that she struggled with is that she felt helpless and hopeless. And Charlotte Elliott tells the story that as she's laying on her bedside, uh, she was ready to throw in the towel. Uh, she was ready to give up on God. And while her family had gone to church, uh, to preach and to teach the gospel, Charlotte Elliott decided that she was going to take her life. She didn't believe that God can still use her because she had been bedridden and bed stricken. Uh, and Charlotte Elliott said that next to her bed 
was some pills and a pen. And as she reached over to gather all the pills so she can take all the pills and check out of this life, instead of her laying hands on the pills, she got a hold of a pen. And as the pen came across the dresser and got close to Charlotte Elliott, she started writing one of the famous hymns, uh, one of the greatest hymns we ever sang before. Uh, she takes up that pen and she started writing, uh, just as I am uh, without one plea, uh, for thy blood uh, was shed for me. Uh, o Lamb of God, uh, I come to thee. Uh, Charlotte Elliot realized uh, that if God is able to pick up the uh, He's also able to save her. If God is able to save her, he's able to deliver her. And for the rest of her life, she reminded herself that there is a God who sits high, who's able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all we ever ask or think. Well, Galilee, thank you for having me. And God bless you real good. And I hope I didn't bore you. But pull your neighbor by the head and said neighbor there's another Charlotte in the house there's somebody who used to be hopeless and there's somebody who used to be helpless but just in the nick of time the Lord showed up and he made a way out of no way good night children and God bless you real good but help me preach this sermon as I take my seat tonight and pull your neighbor by the head and say your pride will paralyze you but your forgiveness will release you and your faith will save you is there anybody up in here who said in a bad economy you still got faith faith to believe the impossible faith to see the invisible is there anybody in here who said I got faith to believe he's able to do exceedingly abundantly above all we ever ask or think is there anybody at the sound of my voice who can say my faith looks up to thee O Lamb of Calvary Savior divine hear me now while I pray take all my guilt and sins away is there anybody who's in church tonight who say I thank God that I've got faith to believe he can make a way out of nowhere I got faith to believe he can open a door I got faith to believe that he can heal my body good night children and God bless you real good but I've seen the lightning flash and I heard the thunder roll I've seen sin break and dashing I proud to conquer my soul but I I say I heard the voice of Jesus. He promised never to leave me and never to leave me alone. He walks with me and he talks with me, picks me up, turn me around, plant my feet on a solid ground. Good night, John Lee, and God bless you. But pull your neighbor by the hand and say, neighbor, this shout is because he brought me out. This shout is because he delivered me. This shout is because he saved me. This shout is because he blessed me. This shout is because he blessed me. Say yeah. Come on, say.